yeah, that includes first degree murder charges and several counts of attempted murder as well. So 20 year old Alexa Bartel, she was driving right along Indiana Street on April 19th when she was killed. So she was on the phone with a friend and that went silent. So that friend then tracked her phone, drove to the location and found Bartel dead inside the car off the off the road in a field. So all three suspects were arrested six days later. And then on that same night that Bartel was killed, several other drivers reported that their cars were also hit by large rocks. And according to an arrest, affidavit one man reported a rock come through his windshield hitting him on the shoulder and then landing in his front seat none of the suspects entered a plea so far which typically happens during an arraignment they're facing several charges including first degree murder and multiple counts of attempted murder time someone does an act that could endanger others and they don't really care who it is that they endanger they are acting with what the law calls extreme indifference this was not one isolated event this was a crime spree waiting for disaster to happen. Now, all three teens are set to be tried separately. So the first trial is set for Carol Chick. That's happening June 7th. And then we have Quack June 24th and Koenig trial is set for July 19th. So each trial is expected to last about nine days today. They will have an arraignment that's happening at one this afternoon inside of this courthouse. Of course, we'll keep you updated what happens inside of that courtroom, uh, both on air as well as online on 9news.com. For now, I'm live in Jefferson County, Brianna Fernandez for 9news. All right, we'll be keeping a very close eye on this. Brianna, thank you.